Once again, I find myself standing in front of a camera, appealing to the Northern Ireland executive, appealing directly to the 12 ministers that make up that executive. We know you have an impossible job and we support your efforts in trying to control this virus. I mean, the hospitality industry is made up of the community we live in. Our staff come from the community, the business owners come from the community, and our customers come from the community. And we do not want to do anything that puts anyone in danger. But we are now faced with a dilemma. Come the end of this month, we are back where we were in March. We are back at the precipice of total failure of our industry. When furlough stops, if we are impacted with controls that we have now seen in the Derry City and Strabane area, our industry will collapse. The tank is empty. We do not have the financial resources even to pay the redundancies, never mind keep people on. We, you know, our industry will actually go broke. It will fail because they have no reserves. They've used them up trying to survive this far. We need to work with the executive and the executive need to work with us. This is not about lives versus livelihoods or indeed the executive versus the hospitality industry. And we recognise and welcome the support that we have seen in the past. The support from the Northern Ireland Executive and indeed the support from Westminster. And the support from the Finance Minister for Derry and Strabane. It's not a huge sum of money when you put it against our bills. But I realise his commitment and recognise it. And recognise he's working with an incredibly small budget. But we must work together. We must find ways measures to keep the industry open as much as possible. But when the day comes, and unfortunately with this infection rate soaring the way it is, it looks like we will have other controls, possibly similar to Derry and Strabane, which is a lockdown in all but name, or maybe a complete lockdown of Northern Ireland. We must be ready for that, and the executive must be ready for that, with financial firepower that can actually put bread on the table of our staff and save the businesses to the other side of this. If Westminster don't step in, I am lost for what our industry will do. I have spoken to dozens upon dozens of our members yesterday and every one of them tells me, end of month, same restrictions as Darren Saban equals total failure. It equals 100% of their staff being paid off and indeed it equals the business going down. And if the business goes down, they don't even have the money that they would actually want to pay their staff for their redundancy entitlement. We are facing a catastrophe in our industry and we need to sit down, use the evidence that the executive have to examine where the hospitality industry can improve but if the hospitality industry has to be closed as a balance for other areas of society that can't be controlled, like house parties, then we need that message as well, so we understand, but also so the public understand that when we can open, it is safe to come and have a pint, to have a meal, with all the restrictions and all of the health and safety measures we have in place. I appeal to our 12 ministers. I recognise the work you have done. I recognise the commitment you have to the people of Northern Ireland and to the hospitality industry. But together we have to work together and find a way to keep as much of the industry open as possible. And when we close parts or all of it, that there is a plan already in place, that there is adequate financing in place, and that is brought in immediately.